Good morning students. We are learning water resource engineering and hydrology. We are discussing on the drought management and water harvesting. In today's lecture, we will discuss about rainwater harvesting. Well, what is rainwater harvesting? Rainwater harvesting is the accumulating and storing of rainwater for the reuse before it reaches to the aquifer. Well, it has been used to provide the drinking water, water for the livestock, water for irrigation, as well as some other difficult uses. Well, rainwater collected from the roofs of houses and the local institutions can make an important contribution to the available drinking water. It can supplement the subsoil water level and increase urban greenery. Water collected from the ground, sometimes from areas that are especially prepared for um, only this water harvesting purpose is called as the storm water harvesting. While well, major part of our country have been facing continuously failure of monsoon and consequent deficit of rainfall over the few last year. Well, uh, due to ever increasing the population of India, the use of groundwater has increased drastically and leading to the constant depletion of groundwater level, which causing the well and tube wells to the dry. Well, uh, uh, in some places, the excessive heat waves during the summer that is creating a situation that is similar to the drought. Also, uh, surface water is inadequate to meet our demand and we have to depend on the groundwater sources. Nowadays you may observe that uh, each and every apartment is giving their own bore wells. Okay, that is just to meet the extra demand of the people. Okay, so due to this rapid urbanization, infiltration of rainwater into the subsoil has decreased drastically and recharging of groundwater has been demonized. So it is imperative to take the adequate measure to meet the drinking water needs of the people in our countries besides irrigation as well as the domestic need. So for that what we can do that we can do a rainwater harvesting. So what are the benefits of rainwater harvesting? The first benefit that is availability of water for drinking it may also uh, provide the water for livestock and irrigation also well by doing rainwater harvesting we can recharge the groundwater table also it increase the greenery in urban areas well this water harvesting system can be simple to construct from inexpensive local materials it is envir friendly also it prevents soil erosion and flooding in the urban areas while well, it inculcates a culture of water conservation in the people community of water resources act as a social templates also the rejuvenates rivers in the nearby regions so these are the benefit of rainwater harvesting there are a few methods with we can perform this rainwater harvesting well Total four methods are there. The first that is the rooftop rainwater harvest, then uh, runoff collection, then groundwater recharge, and the runoff enhancement. So these four are the method. Okay, let's starting with the first one that is the rooftop rainwater harvesting. Well, in this technique, the rainwater is collected from the impervious roof of building and stored in underground storage tanks that is shown in this figure well the main objective of the rooftop rainwater harvesting is to make the water available for the future purpose or the for the future use so the technique is particularly useful in dry land hilly urban and coastal areas so if the system is properly installed maintained clean water can be collected and stored which can be used for drinking purpose also so uh, in this rooftop rainwater harvesting there are a few components main components we can consider that is first the drawn pipe and first flush arrangement here you can see this is first flush 
arrangement and this down pipe the second that is the filter unit the surge tank and provision for drawing water and spillover every system is installed here so this is a schematic diagram we can consider for the rooftop rainwater harvest well let's see some function of this units well the first is down pipe and the first flush arrangement so this is the arrangement to prevent the dust and other unwanted materials that may be seen on the roof from reaching the storage tank it is always safe to ensure that the first flush arrangement that remains open during non rainy days and should be closed after the first rain up to the satisfaction of the end user the next uh, component that was from uh, filter unit while the rain water collected from the roof should be allowed to reach at the storage tank only through this filtering mechanism so that the water can be filtered understood the next that is the storage tank well mainly three type of storage tanks are constructed in the roof water harvesting they are uh, first above the ground or underground or we can uh, provide it as a subsurface tank then provision of drawing water and spillway well this drawing water uh, or a spill over uh, provided when it is necessary to provide or when it is needed okay the easier the method of adopting the drum or drawing water the more will be the chances of its misuse well mainly three types of drawing water are usually adopted okay uh, they are by using a tap by head pump or by electric pump sets okay so this drawing water can be used by any of this method then the next method that is the runoff collection while well, the surface runoff can be collected and stored into the surface reservoir by uh, using the check dams khet talavdis that is considered as a filled peat and pond or the reservoir first that is check dam a check dam is a low height weir that is constructed across the small river or the stream to obstruct the water flow and to store the water on its upstream side well no canals are constructed from the reservoir okay one to obstruction of water flow by a check dam the water is collected on its upstream infiltration infiltrates on its upstream infiltrates into the ground and thus raising the water table in the surrounding areas so this can be uh, one of the method for the water harvesting well the advantage of check dams that is that the total investment cost of the check dam is not too much high okay the construction of the check dam is also easy and can be completed within 2 to 3 months well uh, the tube well can be recharged within 800 meter to periphery of the check dams so this is a large amount well uh, due to increase in the level of the water surface in the wells electricity cost uh, can be also decreased and due to the percolation of the water into the ground evaporation of the water will be reduced the next pattern or next method we uh, with which uh, we can perform the rainwater harvesting as a runoff collection that is khet talavdi while this khet talavdi is the easiest and simple method for collecting the rainwater for the storage purpose the low laying area in the farm is used for collecting the rainwater with a very little treatment the water collection in the khet talavdi can be used for the crop in the water scarce season or in the winter season when the rain water is not available for the crop the third method that is ponds and reservoir well in this technique a dry village pond and a reservoir are dug before the monsoon the storage capacity of such ponds increases due to widening and desilting now this desilting activities are carried out manually as well as by using machineries like uh, drag lines and power shovel well the ponds and reservoirs are linked up with the storm water runoff 
in the vicinity to augment the inflow of water. During the monsoon, the runoff water is stored in pond or reservoir for domestic irrigation and livestock uses. The water stored in the reservoir gradually percolates down to recharge the groundwater. So these three are the pattern with which we can do the rainwater harvesting that is check dam, then Khetalaudi and pond reservoir. Main primary method that is to collect the runoff water. So that is why this method is known as the runoff collection. Then uh, groundwater recharge. Well, this groundwater recharge we uh, discussed earlier in the third chapter. Okay, and also we can uh, recharge the groundwater by using the first method that is the rooftop rainwater harvesting. Also, uh, by using that we can do this groundwater recharge by not providing the drawing water. If we do not, if we do not discharge that water from the ground, it will automatically restore the groundwater. So. The fourth method that is the runoff enhancement. Well, the method of runoff enhancement can be performed by the first that is the cloud seeding. Well, by cloud seeding, the amount of precipitation can be increased by about 10 percentage as a precipitation. And to decrease the seeding in the weather modification is done to increase the cloud evapotranspiration. So cloud seeding is also a method with which we can enhance the runoff. The next method that is the paved surface. While this paved surface like cement concrete surface or the asphalt road, asphalt road buildings, footpaths, this will produce a greater runoff than bad soil. Because in the bad soil, there are few amount of water that may get sucked by the soil. Or it may be a possibility of infiltration. But if we provide a paved surface which is uh, uh, impermeable or uh, partially permeable. Okay? So that will lead to enhance the runoff water. And thus in the urban area, runoff will be greater. The third that is the drainage basin. For the drainage basin the, uh, there are few factors that is the location of drainage basin or the surface characteristics of uh, drainage basin or the type of soil in the drainage basin. Well uh, starting with the first that is the location. Well the drainage basin located on the windward side of the mountains that receive heavy rainfall as compared to those that is located in the windward side. Well, similarly, drainage basin located at a higher altitude that receives more rainfall and hence it yields greater runoff. So therefore, rainwater harvesting structure should be located in the basins where the runoff is more. Then the surface characteristics of the drainage basin also affect the runoff rate. As an example, uh, a bare surface gives more runoff as compared to a surface that having a vegetal cover. So generally steep slopes produce more runoff that is but obvious. Okay. Now the type of soil in the drainage basin also affects the runoff as a drainage basin with the pervious soil will yield less runoff due to the larger infiltration losses and spreading of clay soil and uh, treating with some chemicals will reduce the infiltration rate for pervious soil and it produces the greater runoff. Then the last that is the compaction of soil. Well, this compaction of soil also increase the density of soil and reduce the infiltration and it produces the greater runoff. So these three are the major factor or we can say the elements which enhance or which help us for runoff enhancement and that is cloud seeding, paved surface, drainage basin and the compaction of soil. Okay. I hope students you understand this topic thoroughly. Thank you so much for your kind attention. I will see you in the next lecture.